this one, we're gonna talk about actually having a uniform input that you might use in other places. So to see what I mean by that is essentially not having our inputs like this, like actually making our own element for an input or a text area um, that we might wanna move around and use. So I'm gonna just go ahead and call function first. So I'm gonna do a very basic one first and then we'll do a little bit more advanced one after that. So we'll do function my text input and of course it takes in props and then we can return our whatever we're trying to render out here. So um, let's, let's just stick with what we've done before, which we use a P tag. You could use a div tag, you can use whatever you'd like here. And we put an input and then, you know, what, what all do we wanna put in here? I'll just go ahead and say type equals to email. And now I want this to be based off of whatever props are coming through, much like if we have a reference or we have a value or a name. So all of those things I absolutely want to have in here. So I'm going to say value equals to props.value. Um, and then I'll say name equals to props.name. And ref equals to props.ref. And on change equals to, hmm. Well, let's, let's worry about on change in just a moment. Okay, so I've got my text input here. And now in my form, let's just go ahead and render it out. I've got my text input and ref equals to, well, I probably need to create a ref for that, but let's just go ahead and put a value and this is gonna be equal to the state. We'll put it in as email. So up here in my constructor for this component, not in the text input, I'm gonna put email in here and just have that empty. Okay, and then name, we need a name for it. So um, fill in the value and name equals to email, and we close it off. Okay, so we still need to put a reference in, right? So we, we mentioned that we put this ref here, and I'm gonna do it just like I've done before and just call it input email ref. So then our ref is equal to that, this dot input ref. Okay, cool. Um, so now I've got my input here, and I'm getting some issues, right? So ref is not a prop, Okay, so we have a problem using ref just like that, right? I still want this to be a reference, but really what you have to use is input ref because we're, we're bringing it down one level, right? So we're bringing it into a child element, so you have to use input ref, and then you use ref directly on the actual input itself. Um, so that's going to take some time to play around with yourself, but... Basically, if you're using a actual HTML input, you can use ref. If you're using a child element or you're, you, you have your own component, you use input ref. Okay, so we save that, and now it's actually going to work just fine. Um, except when I try to type in this email, it's not working. Two reasons for that. One is this props value, right? So that value is not changing. The state value is ab absolutely not changing. So I can actually add in an on change method like we've seen before, right? So if I grab this on change and do on change here, um, let's try it now. I type it out, nothing happens. Well, that's because our input itself doesn't actually call back that on change. It's not actually working with it. So what we do then is we create another function in here saying handle change, um, much like we've seen like down below, right? So it's not actually any different than this, other than the fact that we want to see if props dot on change, right? So we want that to actually occur. If props on change, then props dot on change event. Okay, so, so um, if you're not familiar with that syntax, all I did was that, okay? Um, now, what this is going to allow me to do is then put into this input and say on change equals to my local version of on change, as in local to this function, right? I don't say that I don't have to say this. I just call the function within the function, right? I call this function itself, and what this does is it checks to see if there's a property called on change, and then it just sends the event that's happening for that particular input. This is now a reusable text input that we might wanna use somewhere. So I refresh in here and now I can type out an email. Um, and I, of course, with the ref itself, I can you know 
focus in on it if I want to. So dot current, like we've seen, uh, oops, not full, full. Uh, it should be input email ref, not full name ref. Okay, let's save that. And I'm actually gonna reorganize this so they're sort of in line here. We save that and now if I hit focus, it focuses in on that input. So this is now a completely reusable text input. We can import it anywhere we'd like. Um, you may or may not have it right next to a component that you already have because of course we can reuse this form as well in a, in and of itself. Um, so in the next one, I'm actually gonna show you how to build a constructor that's very similar to this, but maybe a little bit more advanced. Not maybe, definitely more advanced. So make sure you subscribe to get everything and I look forward to seeing you guys next time.